Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Today, I'm showing you how to clone your disk drive to a new drive for free using Disk Genius. Whether you're swapping out a dying drive, moving to a larger one for more storage, or trading an old HDD for a snappy SSD, this guide will walk you through it step by step. Let's get cloning. Before we jump in, a quick heads up. Cloning wipes the new drive clean, so if there's anything important on it, back it up first. You'll need your current disk drive with Windows 11 and your new drive connected to your computer. All set? Let's go for it! First, we need to grab Disk Genius, a super handy free tool for cloning. Fire up your web browser. In the search bar, type Disk Genius and hit Enter. The top result should be the official website. Look for diskgenius.com. Left-click that link. On the site, spot the red Download button and give it a click. The file's about 60.5 megabytes, so it's a quick download. Once it's done, left-click the file to run it. Follow the installer, click Next, agree to the terms, pick your install folder, and hit Install, then Finish. Disk Genius is now locked and loaded. Let's take a peek at your drives to make sure everything's lined up. Right-click the Start button and select Disk Management. You should see your current disk drive, likely your C drive with Windows 11, plus some extra partitions like E, F, I, System, and Recovery. Your new drive should show up as unallocated or empty. If it has data you care about, back it up now, because cloning will wipe it out. We're ready to move on. Time to launch Disk Genius. Find the icon on your desktop or in the Start menu, and left-click to open it. The interface might look a bit geeky, but it's easy to navigate for cloning. At the top, left-click OS Migration. This is the tool that'll copy your whole Windows setup. After clicking OS Migration, you'll need to pick your target disk first. Left-click to select your new drive, then hit OK. Next, choose your source disk, your current disk drive with Windows 11. Since my new drive is larger, saying maybe in my case it's jumping from a 70 gigabyte drive to 120 gigabytes, you'll see an option to adjust partitions on target disk. Click it, and you can expand the main Windows partition to use the extra space, perfect for storing more files or apps. For example, this works great if you're upgrading to a bigger drive for video editing or replacing a slow HDD with an SSD for faster boots and app loads. Uncheck Change Computer Boot Sequence when finished. We'll test the new drive manually to be safe. All right, let's start the cloning process. Click Start in Disk Genius. A warning will pop up that everything on your new drive will be erased. Double check you've backed up anything important, then click OK. You'll get a choice between hot migration, which clones right in Windows, or rebooting to a WinPE environment. Hot migration's the easier route, so let's go with that. Click Hot Migration. Disk Genius will take a snapshot of your system and start copying files to the new drive. This might take 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how much data you've got. Grab a coffee, this part's hands off. Once it's done, you'll see System Migration Completed. Let's check the clone. Right-click Start, select Disk Management. Your new drive should now have the same partitions as the original, EFI System, Recovery, and the main Windows partition. Looks like a perfect copy. Now let's test the new drive to make sure it boots Windows 11. To keep things tidy, we'll pretend we're swapping it in. Shut down your computer. Disconnect your original disk drive. Check your PC's manual if you're unsure how. Keep the new drive connected, then power on. If Windows 11 pops up with your usual desktop apps and files, you're golden. Everything should feel the same, just with extra space or speed depending on your setup. No reinstalls, no stress. Here are some pro tips to make cloning a cinch. First, tidy up your disk drive before cloning to speed things up. Left-click Start, type Disk Cleanup, and clear out temp files. Second, check both drives for errors in Disk Genius under Disk, Verify or Repair Bad Sectors. That's it! You've cloned your disk drive to a new drive using Disk Genius, all for free. Until next time, stay passionate about tech.